today's video, I'm going to give you guys a primer on Coast FI or Coast Financial Independence. I'll break it up into three parts. One, uh, what it is. Two, who it's appropriate for. And three, uh, what I think the limitations of such a strategy entails. Welcome back. Okay, so what is Coast FI? All right, this is a subset uh, of the general fire movement, and I would say this is one of the most achievable or most easily achievable version of FI. And the reason why it's, you know, I, I just said FI and not full fire is because, well, it's called Coast Financial Independence, not so much Coast Financial Independence Retire Early. Uh, we'll see why in a moment. Okay, so what it is is that. Uh, if you start early enough, eventually you accumulate, uh, accumulate uh, enough of a nest egg, usually in a tax advantage account such as a 401k or you know uh, your own IRA. Once you have a good nest egg, essentially you are already in Coast FI because you no longer need to accumulate any more uh, additional assets into this nest egg for you to achieve a successful retirement uh, by the time that uh, uh, you reach regular retirement age, okay? Or some arbitrary uh, point in the future. But mostly what people would consider a reasonable retirement age if you're on Coast FI is just regular retirement age instead of actually early retirement. This is a big distinction, okay? So who is this appropriate for? I mean, I'd argue this is for people who don't want to really go too crazy with the saving aspect, right? Which is maximizing your savings rate. Right? I always advocate, you know, you save more than 50% or as much of a percentage as possible, but that's not really what everybody wants out of life, right? Some people, you know, if you've ever wanted to just coast, right? Like you want to do a hard, hard work for a short period of time and then just coast on that, coast FY might be for you, right? An example time frame is like someone who started, you know, uh, their financial education journey really early. Like th this works as, you know, the, 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 the more time your money has to compound, the better. Say, say you started at 18 or 22 and you worked really hard for eight years and you saved and scrimped a lot for eight years. By the time you're 30, if your nest egg is somewhere in the two, three hundred thousand dollar range, you actually are already in Coast FI just at that point, okay? You don't have to accumulate any more because from 30 years old to the regular retirement age of around 65, you've had 35 years. You could probably even get away with a bit less, but what that means is that that $300,000 in your ideally tax managed account, such as 401k or IRA, sitting there just doing its thing, you know, reinvesting all, all the proceeds, hopefully you bought an index fund, and that's, that's the, suggest, the suggested way to go. In 35 years, you're almost guaranteed to be a millionaire. So that's what people mean, that the period from the moment you stop, uh, you know, putting in more money to your investment vehicle to the day that you actually retire, you're, you've been coasting, okay? Now, here's the part that I have a problem with, uh, Coast FI, all right? One, it's not really retiring early, right? You will, your expected retirement age is just a regular old retirement age, right? And the other thing is is really that uh, you still need to upkeep your your regular living expenses, okay? During that 35 years, you don't need to put in more money for retirement purposes, but you still need to live your regular life, okay? And this is where, you know, the idea is that in your 20s, you, you, you do a lot of work, you put in a lot of money, and then once you hit Coast FI, technically you don't have to put in more money, okay? You could just, you know, drop your savings rate down to whatever average Americans do, and just, you don't have to worry about that aspect anymore, and you can just keep living your regular life. Uh, the problem with that, of course, is that, you know, uh, you still need a job, and you still need to, you know, be part of a, a, a career that you might not enjoy, which is which is the case for most people, right? I would say, like, if you were able to actually save up this relatively good chunk of a, uh, a nest egg, right? I'm talking about at least 150, about 200 thousand dollars, right? That's where you could coast for 30 years and be okay at the end, right? If you're already doing that, why not just keep it up, right? And exit the workforce entirely instead of just saying, "Hey, I can I can exit," you know. 
as a, as a senior citizen like everybody else, right? The, the only difference is, you know, mentally, it, it, you feel much better about yourself. I mean, that is the benefit of Coast F5, okay? You take a mental burden of having to, you know, think about your retirement, you can just remove that entirely, all right? But what I'm saying is, if you've already, if you've already put your, your foot on the gas in terms of saving and scrimping for, I mean, it's still gonna take five to eight years to save up, you know, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars for anyone with a regular salary. But if you've already done that, why not go for broke? Thanks. Good day.